This is Paul Palmer. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry a long time, and I've probably written down, I don't know how many things. I know I've been typing a lot, I know I've created a lot, but why do we do all this? Well, when I was in the laboratory, what was I doing? I was doing tests and, and, and making records. The records are the evidence that the pharmaceutical products have been tested. Okay, so that's, that's what you do in the lab, you're generating evidence. And then if anybody comes back, you can see what was happened. If you have a problem or if you want to do the certificate of analysis, then you've got the evidence there, the details that you need. So what about in the production area? Well, you're writing down what you're doing. Well, why are you writing down what you're doing? Well, that's because you want to allow the next person to have a look at what you've done. They know exactly what you've done. They've got the traceability. They can identify the specific batches when they were processed what went into them, uh, and maybe even traceability to the analytical records if the feedback is given for an in-process check, for example. So what are you using? Well, you're using the evidence of it's been done properly. So what's next? Well, you've got your evidence that you've done the testing. You've got your evidence that you made it right. What about the location? What about the packaging? Well, we're, then again, we're producing records to demonstrate we've done the job properly. And then what? Well, we've done the job properly, we've made the finished product, we've tested it and it's passed. And then what? Well, maybe somebody comes in and does an audit on our systems and processes. And they have a look at the training record for the people that were doing the work. Maybe they look at the approval of the suppliers that we've used. We haven't just bought it in, we made sure, we've done our due diligence first. And we've made records of that. So they ask you, can you prove it? And when you're proving it, what are you doing? Well, you're showing them the evidence. So really, everything we do, we put together the evidence. And that's the focus that I have when I'm auditing. Some people go to an audit and they think, oh, well, let's see if we can find some observations. Let's see if we can find some things that are wrong. But that's not enough. You need to capture the evidence that they're doing it right as well. After all, if you're expected to sign off on a quality QP declaration, for example. Well, how can you do that? Well, only by reviewing the evidence. And if there isn't sufficient evidence and it's not been done by somebody that's suitably qualified, you can't sign it off. So everything we do is based on evidence. And what does the evidence need to have? Well, it needs to be attributable. So you need to make sure you record who did it and when. It needs to be legible. Well, of course. You want to be able to read it, don't you? Contemporaneous. Well, I know some people who didn't know what that meant. But it's documented at the time of the activity. Original or a certified copy. Well, if you're going to have something that's got damaged, if you've got a record that's been damaged in process, and you won't think, oh, well, I'll just do a new copy. Well, you need to make sure somebody's looking at the old one, looking at the new one, and cross-checking what you've done and say this is a certified copy of the original. But keep the original as well, unless it's already totally destroyed, in which case you can't really. Accurate. No errors or editing without documented amendments. Reliable data. Data that you can use as, what do we call it? Evidence. And then, of course, it needs to be complete. Make sure you fill in everything. Don't leave some gaps. Don't leave spaces. If you've got a space and it's not needed, put a line through it, not applicable, sign and date it. Consistent. Now then, how do we find consistency? Well, often it's inconsistency that we find to be able to demonstrate that it's not consistent. But how do we look for consistency? Well, look for dates. Are they sequential? Is the process following the sequence that you'd expect? That's an easy way. What else? Well, you could look at the log of the people that were signed into the job and then compare that against the people that have signed the activities. Enduring. Well, you want to use something, one format that's going to survive. You don't want to be using, what, a whiteboard? That's not going to give you anywhere. You can't use pencil. You shouldn't be using Tipex, whiteout. Available. Can you get to it? Okay, maybe you've archived it and it takes a week to recover. Not really enough if you need to do an investigation that's got to be completed within a day. 
maybe you're investigating a recall and you need to decide is it safe okay so that's it for today talking about pharmaceuticals and gathering evidence because all the documents that we prepare everything that we write down it's about gathering evidence evidence that we can use later for whatever the next step is or maybe a later one that's it for today it's paul farmer i'll talk to you soon mm -hmm.